When it comes to living in the Tampa Bay area, there are so many different options, some a little bit more popular than others. But in today's video, we're going to talk about a beautiful, small town different than what I've ever seen before, and I'm sure you're going to fall in love with it just like I did when I first moved to the area. We're talking about Tarpon Springs, Florida, and what you need to know before moving there. Tarpon Springs, Florida is a small town located to the north of Tampa, and it's around one hour from Tampa as well. This beautiful town is rich in Greek culture, and its main thing it's known for is the sponge capital of the world. The downtown here is super cute, and it's actually registered as a historic area, and you will just love it. So let me show you a little bit more about what I'm talking about. Here in Tarpon Springs, Florida, the population is relatively smaller than the other cities. The population is around 25,000 people. This city is very different to the ones nearby because it has a little bit more of a historic touch to it. And you can even see that in the downtown and some of the buildings in the city. Tarpon Springs is located to the north of Tampa. It's around an hour drive. And I'm going to show you exactly where you can find that right here in the map, if you're not familiar. So when it comes to exploring nearby towns, you're pretty close to Clearwater, St. Pete. And if you really do want to go to Tampa, you can go ahead and go on the little drive for an hour and then you're there. It has a very good spot of, in the map because if you're looking for waterfront homes, there is tons of them because it's right there on the Gulf of Mexico. That's something that you won't really be able to get anywhere else for the price range. You might be able to get it somewhere a little bit down south or even closer to the Tampa area, but the price tag does go up if that's what you're looking for. The real estate market in Tarpon Springs, Florida, the average price range is around 360,000. And there you can find all types of homes. And my favorite is the historic homes and also the beautiful, beautiful waterfront properties. Always remember that if you're looking to be able to search for homes, there's a link in the description that lets you do just that. So when it comes to things to do, we wanna make sure that there's something going on, right? Because if you're moving from out of state, you're probably tired of being locked up in your house all the time, in these, especially in these winter months. So what is there to do? In the downtown, you can find many places as bakeries, restaurants, shopping, my favorite. And my favorite place to go to is the Tarpon Springs Sponge Dogs. It's great for families, it's great for couples, it's even great for kids since they have this big shark up there that is great to take photos on. And there's tons of small businesses that you can support there starting from bakeries. One of the best restaurants around the area is called Hellas, and you will just find a variety of different dishes there. And also there's just beautiful view. And here's a little video of when I went last time. We just took some photos there just for fun. And I never get tired of that view and the sunsets are absolutely beautiful there. So you definitely have to check it out either for date night to explore or to just have some fun with the kids on a day off. Tarpon Springs is also a great place to retire. The majority of the population are retirees, but let's be honest, that's a lot of Florida's population, but that doesn't mean you can't have a little bit fun here and there as well, because remember you do have clear water nearby and St. Pete and Tampa. So if you're a little bit, if you're not retired yet, there's still some options available for you there as well. In terms of the culture and history, as you heard already, it is known as the sponge capital of the world, and it was a very thriving business back in the 1940s. If you visit the sponge dogs, you can see that little bit of history there with the boats and the architecture, and it's just really, really cool, and also the downtown. 
it's really cool to check out because you don't see that much of old florida and um many cities anymore so if you go take lots of photos and make sure you wear comfortable shoes because it is a lot of walking <laughs> A big part of Tarpon Springs is also the influence of Greek culture. You will see anywhere from the food to their clothing and many of the small businesses there also speak Greek. So it's actually really cool because you just feel like you're somewhere else in the world. You don't feel like you're in Florida when you're there and everybody is so friendly and so nice and it's definitely a nice place for you to check out if you're looking to move to the Tampa Bay area, but maybe you don't want to be so close to the big cities, but you want to be in a close range, consider Tarpon Springs, Florida. Remember, if you want to learn more about moving to Tampa Bay, Florida, you can check out my different playlist here. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've heard about Tarpon Springs before or if you're thinking about moving there. And let, also, let me know what other kind of videos you want me to make and other places you want me to talk about. Like always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.